what's up people what's up man how we doing how we doing so on this week's video man i want to talk about maintenance and repairs on your semi truck owning a semi truck the most important thing you can do is preventative maintenance and upkeeping maintenance to keep your semi running good in top shape and save you a lot of money down the road if you don't do it um so just to show you um on my truck i got four tires put on the other day um probably about three weeks ago and i have two tires that are original on my truck since i bought them so i'm going to show you these tires real quick hopefully make, the guys don't get mad but these have 286,000 miles on them let me show you them real quick I was sort of peeking through about the same. This tire is yeah. good. You're, you're good. 286,000 miles. So on them tires, them are original tires on my truck. And they've been running strong, Bridgestone, and I'm just now getting them replaced. That is two years later since I bought my truck. So that's the importance of doing preventative maintenance and upkeep on your truck if you do preventive maintenance upkeep your truck will keep running strong and you won't have no issues now I've on, on this time around changing my tires I did do something kind of unorthodox unorthodox I had Bridgestone originally and I went to um, loves advantage retread so I have retreads on all my drives. They're guaranteed for life, and they're three hundred dollars a piece. So, for a tire, I mean three hundred dollars, you're gonna guarantee it. So, I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, and also, one of my shocks in the back um, had some like liquid on it. So, when a shock goes bad, how you can tell is it'll start leaking hydraulic fluid out of the shock. So, I'm also getting one of my shocks on the back replaced, but. Mind you, my truck has 286,000 miles on my truck. And, um, yeah, the first time I did replace the two front shocks because I was going through my steer tires, but I think that's due to alignment. Um, I just, it's hard to find a good alignment guy for the front steers. But, um, and also I wanted to mention about Super Ego. Listen, I had a guy set up, but uh, he's been uh, driving a lot of hours but I'm gonna get him on my channel and interview him for you guys um he's been making three thousand dollars twenty five hundred thirty five hundred dollars I think up to four thousand dollars last week he grossed seven thousand eight hundred dollars in a dry van in a dry van mind you in a dry van dry van no. in a dry van so anyways um you know you come over here and you, you want to work and you tell you, you communicate with your dispatcher you get along good with them there's money to be made here man there's, there's money out here you just got to work and get it and also tip of the cake i gotta i gotta throw out there so this guy that i'm talking about he's one uh he put me down for a referral when he came to the company and um you know that he's been in the company uh, eight months now after six months he told me since you know he wanted to get a reefer trailer so he i gave him some numbers for him to reach out and he had no luck getting a reefer trailer um i i then proceeded to contact the company on his behalf and and said you know this guy's been here for over six months he's he's a worker he's a good guy and um he needs to get a reefer trailer so um I gave the guy a couple more numbers and he called uh, like a month later, uh, you know, like seven and a half months here he called and he had no luck. So finally I reached out again and really pushed the company to give the guy a reefer trailer. And what do you know, last Friday he picked up his reefer trailer. So he is in the reefer gang now. Robert, welcome to the reefer gang. Rolf, Robert and Rudy. Both of my referrals have gotten reefer trailers at Super Ego since they came. So, but um, my point in saying that is if 
you come over here and it's always nice to have someone have your back and help fight for you, you know? So that's what I do. I um when people put me down for a furrow, not only it's about helping them out and also fighting to get, you know, everything they they need at the company here or, or they want. So that's it man. We all uh, we did 6100 last week for gross. Uh, we did 2,300 miles, that one load canceled. And uh, right now, I'm on a load from Kansas City to New York, one pick, two jobs. 1,200 miles, $3,600, and it was 14,000 pounds. So, I ran the numbers, and in two days, I'm gonna deliver tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. I picked it up yesterday, and um, in two days, I'm gonna clear two thousand dollars profit that's after the diesel and after the 12 percent so just want to encourage you guys man if you're thinking to come over super ego man it's a great company you can make money over here you know you just got to work man you just got to work but there's lots of money to go around you know don't listen to all the naysayers and lies out there i was going to do a video on <clears throat> disclaiming all the videos out there that you know create lies and, and have lie about the company and create a video to try to say they're bad which actually it all boils back down to the driver um it's in the choices you make the loads you take you know it's all up to your choices man you make good choices you get a good check you make bad choices you get a bad check so um that's it man i hope you guys i'm gonna put my phone number up if you guys need some help or need anything hit me up man I'm here to help you and um yeah, for my referrals, once you get here, once you've been here six months, man, hit me up. I'm going to get you the reefer trailer, man. So, God bless you guys. Take care. Until the next one. Peace.